One of you will be strong. Not again. Pregnant with our first child. And we were just babies ourselves, really. And I was terrified. <laughs> of becoming a father. Mostly about money. She wasn't worried. She had faith that things were gonna work out. She always had faith. And one day she was gonna go visit a friend. There was an accident. The Lord take it. They rushed me to a hospital and put me in a room with this little pink bundle stuffed with tubes. And they said that I had to be strong because my little girl was going to live. God was looking out for our daughter. And they left me alone in the room with her. I just stare at my daughter, so helpless and so innocent, when all she had in the world was me, when nobody from nowhere was me. And in that moment, I knew that God was testing me. He was laying out a path before me, and all I had to do was choose. So I put my hand on my little girl's head, and I leaned in and I could smell her. And we prayed together, prayed for wisdom, prayed for strength.
sacrifice the weak. Make your sacrifice! Good. Not bad. You must be hungry. <laughs> yeah. Did you know it takes 10 days for civilization to collapse? Yeah. You take away a man's basic needs and he will revert to his primordial instincts in just 10 days. <laughs> That's a difficult thing to understand unless you've lived it. I was in Iraq during the first Gulf War. 82nd Airborne All-Americans, hoorah! <laughs> One night there was a, an ambush. And me and this guy named Miller got separated from the unit. No food, no radio. Nearest base, 200 clicks to the south, so we just started walking. Well, by the third day, I knew we were lost. Day six, ran out of water. You know what that's like, don't you? Difficult to swallow. On the seventh day, Miller's legs started going all wonky. Did you know your brain starts to eat your muscles in order to survive? That's why you're so goddamn skinny. And by the eighth day, the wolves were closing in. And I looked at Miller and I could tell we were as good as dead. And I accepted that. And in that acceptance, came clarity. You see, I wasn't just looking at Miller. I was looking at an opportunity. It wasn't something I wanted. It was something that I had to do. It was, it was my test. You see, Miller's sacrifice wasn't about me walking out of that desert. It was about bringing me here. The weak have their purpose. You'll understand that soon enough. the herd. Sacrifice 
against the weak. Keep moving. Starts again. Follow me. He knows you're ready to do it. Look. Trials. See? He's got it all planned out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then he's got you. It becomes second nature routine. He gets in your head. And you don't even realize it. You can't ever go back. Do you understand? You can't ever go back. Come on. Truck. That truck's gotta be there. Gotta get on the truck. It's almost time. I've studied the route for weeks. It's the only way out. You'll be safe if you don't. out of here soon enough. Did you think you were free? Well, your little buddy went to a whole lot of trouble for nothing. That's okay. He knows better now. I told you you're not a hero. You are a tool. You know your purpose.
well done. Parker, this is what he does. And we let him write it. You find that motherfucker. You find Jacob. And you kill him. Or next time I see you. So help me God. I'll kill you myself. all this trouble. Don't fight it. Just let go. You've served your purpose. change a goddamn thing. You think I give a shit if I die? That's my purpose. I give my life for Joseph's, and I do it gladly. I understand my role. I am his sacrifice. Simple as that.
Let's say you get out of this. What's next? You go back to running errands for a teenager and a housewife? The White Tails are nothing without Eli. You are nothing without Eli. Again.
my brother saw all this coming. I don't know if he talks to God. That doesn't matter. He was right. Humanity is once again in crisis. It doesn't matter what we build or achieve. We will always find a way <laughs> to break it down. Babylon, Rome, empires rise, <laughs> empires fall. America, we're no different. We think we're indestructible. World War II, war on terror. We survived it, but it only brought us close to the edge. And this is where we are, right here, on schedule, just waiting for someone to push us. And oh boy, if you pushed us. <coughs> you did everything he said you would do. And you didn't even know it. You had no... Fucking clue. Jacob's Armory. Get moving. We're counting on you. 